Colombians have rejected a landmark peace agreement with leftist FARC rebels in a referendum which had been expected to support the deal. The surprise victory for the no camp was by less than one percentage point. In general, the main cities were in favour, unlike the rural areas. President Santos has accepted the result but reassured Colombians that the current ceasefire will continue. In an address to the nation, he said, now we will decide all together which way we need to go to achieve the peace that we all want. What will be possible from this situation? I won't surrender. I will keep pursuing peace until the last minute of my mandate. The commander of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or FARC, known by his nom de guerre, Timoshenko, gave a similar message from Havana, where peace negotiations have taken place over the last four years. FARC reiterates its disposition to use only words as weapons to build towards a better future. Opponents of the pact still want a peace deal, but many thought the one on offer was too soft on the rebels by allowing them to re-enter society, form a political party and escape traditional jail sentences. The triumph of the no is the triumph for a more inclusive peace, a more stable peace. To the FARC I say keep calm because we're going to guarantee that this process will be successfully completed. The rejection of the pact signed last week has shattered the sense of international celebration over the expected end to five decades of war. While the Colombian people still needed to ratify it for the accord to come into force, many had thought it was a done deal.